everyone has the right to a healthy, safe, and clean environment to live, work, play, and thrive. There's a lot of intersecting issues that go together with housing, but yeah, gentrification, changing neighborhoods, as economies reorganize themselves, they tend to push out people who have been there for a long time. Since the year 2000, different neighborhoods that had big concentrations of people of color are now dwindling in population. I oversee all property operations here at Tenderloin Neighborhood Development Corporation. We were founded in 1981 to try to stop new development from coming into the Tenderloin, which would result in displacement of people. We are now at 3,600 homes and growing. 80% of our tenants earn less than $20,000 a year. By people having a home where they're not stressed with losing their housing, where they know their neighbors, they know where the schools are. It is a place where people can take care of each other. The fact that it's permanent allows people to start establishing roots. We are trying to keep our communities together. We're fighting for like our wholeness of ourselves and also of our families and our communities. Oakland Chinatown has actually been here for over a, a century. We built up this beautiful neighborhood that was really trying to take care of ourselves. And then with racism and uh, anti-immigrant policies, it became the only place we could live. New developers who are looking at how close we are to downtown, how close we are to Jack London, how close we are to BART stations, they're like, it's prime real estate. So we do a lot around anti-displacement, doing tenant protections, and we do a lot around trying to build more affordable housing and making sure that any new development, which Oakland is not short of now, <laughs> has affordable housing within it. We have been able to keep a lot more residents here. The Yaw Bay Area is an organization that works to bring more affordable housing to San Francisco and the Bay Area, and we come at the work with racial and equity lens. We're trying to bring new people into the fold, you know, so that they can feel like, yeah, I might have something to do with gentrifying a neighborhood. That might have not even been something I was aiming to do, but it is something that I can actively be a part of, like, changing. Being in a crisis doesn't mean that there aren't solutions. We can combat this crisis and really change and rethink the way that we approach housing in general. What would it look like if laws got changed so that a developer who was looking to build 100% of the units being deeply affordable for the lowest income residents was on the fast track? Housing is just simply the beginning to allow people to thrive, to allow a society also really to overcome a history of not really treating people on an equal basis and where we continue to be challenged by that.